Ooh, let's pop out this chap then. Do 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 do. And we should be live now. So come on, come on, come on. Catch up, catch up, catch up. Yes, we are live. Hello, people. Nice to see you. Now I'm going to cough. Excuse me. <coughs> you all know I'm going to always keep coughing. Yeah, I had music playing this time as well. Got it right. Practice makes perfect. Hi, you all in chat. And my lovely friends in the camera. Hello, hello, hello. Just wait for a few people to get in because actually, for a change, I've started on time. Can you believe it? I've actually started on time. <laughs> Ooh, how have I managed that, you'll say? Well, hmm. I just don't know. I managed to start on time today. I'm still like looking at things thinking, is that a bit wonky? I'm looking at the. Looking in and looking on the screen and looking on that screen thinking, is my camera straight? Is my camera straight? Really winds me up. You all know that. So, I suppose we ought to start saying hello to you wonderful people in the chat room. So, let's go to the top. <coughs> Clear my throat. Right, so we've got ghosts. We've got Bill, JP, Lucky Vapors, Manic, John... Betty, mwah, 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 my lovely Betty, you candy. Betty, I hope you're feeling a bit better, darling. Who else? Chris Doyle, hello. I'm going down, going down. Ooh, I'm going down. TC, hello, Thomas. David. Ooh, ooh, it went a bit fast for me there. David, yep. Yeah. So we've got to there. We've got to... Um, oh, well, Alan Orion, hello. Terry, hi. Sainty. Who else have we got? Dimmer. Hello, El Sid, Darren, hello Darren, you darling lovely little man, where's that's my bunny? Um, who else we got? Oh, we've got Morg, hello Morg, Gailey, you beautiful lady, hello Gailey, who else have we got? See how my voice went to be high pitched then, Gailey! It was so high pitched that dolphins could hear that. So who else have we got? What's going on with the emojis? They took my wave. And blue hearts away. Yeah, I've noticed that myself. It's really annoying. My heart's gone. It's black now. It's like, well, actually, it's always been, I've always had a black heart. But hey, let's get off that. So who else have we got? We've got Jeff in. Hello, hello. We've got my hubby in. We've got Roger, Drog Vapes there. Lovely to see you. Hi, Kevin. How are you, sweetie? Who else have we got? Oh, I think we've caught up. Right, so that's not bad. That's not bad, right? Look, he's saying we've got 30 in there watching. 30 watching. So if you haven't said hi, come and say hi because I promise I don't buy. Not unless you ask me to. You know what I mean? No, I don't buy. This is a very, very friendly group here. I don't do drama, although it's things that make you go, hmm, and we do like controversy. We don't actually do drama in the chat. We keep everything friendly because everyone's opinion counts. They don't always add up, do they? And remember, guys, I have to remind myself to breathe. So every now and again, if I look like I'm chatting too much and I'm not taking a drink or having a breather, just put in, in the chat, breathe, Jules. Because obviously I'm trying to calm myself down, stay calm, because obviously my chest... Hi, Ken! You darling, you're not late. I mean, Steve, you're going to do that thing later. You know what I'm on about. And send it to you. I back for her. Gaily does, Har. you know what I mean? Yep, yep, yep. Dusty, hello. It's nice to see you. It's really nice that you know you're all getting in here and saying hello. And don't forget, like I say, you don't need to ghost on here. You can just come in and say hi. Now I know it looks a bit weird when I'm talking because the chat's over here. My camera's just there, and I've got another screen there. So I've got two screens. So I'm, I'm looking at both all the time. Because obviously this one's with me OBS and my chat is over there. So I can keep an eye on everything and my levels. I'm really trying to learn, you know. And then over there is my usual screen so I can see that this it's not buffering and things like that. And obviously my camera's there. That's where you all live, inside my camera. Do you know what I mean? Irish, hello. It's nice to see you. Oh, it is Bunny. You stole Darren's computer. Bunny, honey. Hello, hello. How are you? <laughs> so, right, guys. 
I'm just so glad that you've all managed to get here and meet meet me and we'll have a chat um what am i vaping on do you know what we'll do a bit of that that way i'll stop and vape won't i you know what i'm saying so i'm still using this the snow wolf ow, 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 wolf anyway because i really do enjoy the flavor on this and this is one of my going to be going to one of my patrons by the way i'm going to do this as part of my patreon giveaway and what have i got in there i've still got blaz very 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 nice do i see zan in here hello zan penis says i'm sucking a few sucking a few zan <laughs> michelle b hello sweetie pie so yeah oh that is so nice now you can get out of blast i would i would recommend it it is so so good i love this juice I mean, I've not got a great deal left to say that I'm using a lot of other juices. I don't have a lot of that one left. I am really, really loving it. Village, hello, sweetheart. Nice to see you. Mobro, hello, hello. Ian, hello, hello. You're all coming in now, look. Now I've started. Now I've only said about this one, you know, the wolf. Ah, ow, ow, that one. You know what I mean? So anyway, by the way, that was my impersonation of a wolf. If you was all wondering why I was having these strange moments. So that's what it was. Hello, Coil Bromie. Hello, hello. So what else have I got on the go? I have got, because obviously it's stuff for review still. So apart from the wolf things, I've already done it. But I'm enjoying the flavour. So I want to just finish that off. Um, and then I'll get it cleaned up. I've got the Rudder, the Umie Rudder in for review. I'm using that. I'm, a I'm actually loving that. And I've got the Bulk. Oh, yes, the Bulk on the go as well really really do enjoy that and in that i've got humble vtr i'm still finishing that there's not a great deal left but there's a bit left so i'm still on that humble let's have a wee vape oh jp you're all right then yeah do you know what i really enjoy that and this I've got to tell you now, guys, don't even wait for my review. The flavour from this is amazing. I actually find the flavour from this is beating, just beating TVP's FP. The bulk is absolutely amazing for flavour. And you know, the Rudder, it's a lightweight mod from, you know, Umie. Not overly expensive, but do you know what? It's a cracking wee mod. So I've got that on the go as well. If I missed anyone in chat because I don't want to miss anyone and say not say hello to you. I've also got on the go. Well, we'll skip that. We'll come back to that one. <laughs> no, we'll come back to that one as well. I've got the hive. And look how cute this is. Look how cute that little, little, little RDA is. Isn't that cute? It's tiny. Look, too tiny. Look. Mm. So anyway, I've got the hive. And in that... I have got Kinky Vapors, Tingly Lemon Sherbet and Sparkling Strawberries. Really, really nice. So I've got that on the go. That was That's in for review. The Hive, and as you can see, little wee skonker. And this is done by the, if I remember, the Swedish Vapor. I am finding it awkward. I don't know if it's my nails to squonk in there. But, I mean, I've just got to get used to it. Who's swimming? Oh! <gasps> Who's, right, who's annoying our gala that she's had to swear? Strange moments. Jules, you don't have strange moments. <laughs> moments of sanity. Strange is a normal state for you. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, really? Really? <laughs> yes, Bill, with a bubble glass. Mm. So, what else have I got? Right. I've got Dead Man's Arm. Now, what have I got it on? I've got the slide. I'm hiding the mod. I've got the slide. Now, who can think what mod I've got it on? It's, we're going back a bit. It's a bit retro. Shall I show you? Hello, Neil. Nice to see you. Oh, my God. Look what I've pulled out. Ha, ha. I've got the eye stick. The e-leaf eye stick. It still works. It is still working. Mmm, dead man's arm. Hello, P 
pod. Yeah, so I've actually gone quite retro. Quite retro. Got the old baby out. I mean, it don't even go high. You know, in voltage, you know. It's like, it's whack it up. What's it good to? Oh my God. 30 watts. Woohoo. 30 watts. Anyway, I'm not vaping it at 30 watts because it's a mouth to longer. I'm doing it about 15 actually in this. Let's just bring it back down to the 15. Yep. So I brought my old toy out. Some old. Something retro. Now, the last two I'm vaping on, these are in for review again. But they're not on sale yet. These are still in the faces are being sorted out they've been sent in i can't think of the real word for it but they're not ready so it's to for us to give our thoughts blah 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 hey alfie nice to see you Mac. nice to see you too so i've got the ipv's yee ess driver one they've got a yee chip it's from the sister company of yee and it's these little squonky pods look at them how cute they are aren't they cute and do you know what? Really, I am enjoying them. So in this one, I have got, again, the Kinky Vapors Juice. And it's a, what is it? A 69 VG 31 PG mix in that a lemon one, which is nice. Really enjoying that. So that's the black one. Well, it's not black, actually. It's gunmetal grey metal grey and then in this one the black one which i think is dead funky i have now got apple 20 milligram pod salts because obviously i've got to try in different ones absolutely fantastic now this one's set up as mouth to lung this one's straight to lung but th there's not much difference really to be honest with you there's not a great deal that is slightly more restricted. If I want to get it even more restricted, obviously I can close off the air hole just a little bit more. But, you know, I like it slightly airy. Hi, Abby. So, yeah, I, do you know what? I'm really enjoying them. And I've got, obviously, they've been fast-tracked. So, I'll be getting those out by Thursday. Uh, by Thursday, they'll be out Friday at the latest, but I'm hoping to do it Thursday because that'll be, well, it'll be just time. It'll be just time, guys, time. Quick drink. Now, the only thing is, whenever I drink, it's fizz. I start belching. I know, not very ladylike, but then again, I'm not really a lady, am I? So you'll have to just forgive me now. I'm just apologising now in case I start doing little belches. Mm. That is so good. I've also got my crown kit here. I've got other things on the go. I've also got, I forgot to say, I've got a mech on the go. Again, it's got Dead Man's Arm in because I'm really enjoying my Dead Man's Arm. And it's the Arclus mech. Here we go. Absolutely brilliant, this. Absolutely brilliant. Flavour, obviously that's from that. But I'm, I'm just really, really loving it. It's the Dead Rabbit on top. Yeah, really, really enjoying that as well. So, uh, there is other mechs about, but I'm not actually really using them at the moment. Belt on jewels, you can hold. In, but exactly, you can't hold what's not in your hands. Exactly, we know that. But, um, yeah, I mean, these are called IPV. Oh, they're just, they're just amazing. I've got lipstick all over that one, look. But, yeah, these are brilliant, guys. I, I'm loving them. And they are pods. Even though they're a squonker. And they do have this tiny little tank. Hold on. Let's get it out. Just to quickly show you. Look. Look how tiny that is. But you don't squonk with that. Because it's an automatic squonker. Although, if you need to squonk it yourself, you can. From there. And if you over squonk, you can suck it back in. We're pressing that one. But I just said it automatic. And I have been chaining on these. And I've had no dry hits. It's just squonking all the time. A lower ghost, higher. So we're doing all right, guys, aren't we? 
We're doing all right. So have I missed anything in chat? Because I hope not. Yes, Village, you'll love it. You will absolutely love these. Absolutely brilliant, they are. And do you know what I found? It don't matter what your juice you've got in it. It's working well. Working absolutely well with any of the juices. And I've got some, you know, really sort of heavy on the VG side of juice. And also it's using Nick Salt's everything. Jules, my vote, I've got my hex home. Oh, I've here with the Kelpie. With sad boy strawberry jam cookie and my top side jewel with the yee -hee chip yee -hee, with the passage rda oh i love that and blowy elixir black widow and the overpowered mech you know what you can't go wrong you can't go wrong dj lsb so daniel gave the mini three a really good review that's good to know yeah you can't go wrong with that at all chris i i am you know i'm, tr I'm trying to get things done i'm really cracking on really trying Really, really trying to get stuff sorted and get myself right back in there. Oh, that was a hiccup this time, not a belch. But you never know. Oh, you've got the Trinity Alpha, the smart one. You have to let us know, Bunny, if it's nice, if you're enjoying that one. I like that. Can we get your T-shirt sometime next week? Can we try? Can we get your T-shirt sometime next week? Ghost, I don't know what you mean. Can we get... That's confused me. It don't tell much, does it? it? Don't tell much to confuse me. Now we do have some things, things that make you go, hmm, hmm. You know what I mean, girls and boys? Hmm. Get that neck going. Get some of this. Yes, we've got some of that. I love the top side. I really do, Chris. Mine are all in there because I'm not using them today. I do have other pods on the go, guys. They're over here because they're for review. But I'm not just you, and I'm just not using them at this moment in time. <clears throat> today anyway it's great is it oh okay bunny it uses no cores well if it's still good though you know what i mean teespring teespring oh yes you did you have ordered my t-shirt it shouldn't take long then ghost at all shouldn't take long at all to come they've been really really quick when people have ordered ordered them i've ordered from it as well obviously from a teespring and i do know quite a few of us have and they have not had to wait long at all so, 45 watching. Wow. Gosh, that went up quick, didn't it? Look, since there's that many of you in here, if you've not said hello, come and say hi. I promise, honestly, it's a really nice, friendly, sort of drama-free live we do. Don't get me wrong, we do talk controversy and things that make you go, hmm, but in a nice way and nobody's opinion's wrong. We just, you know, we do all that. Anyway, so should we start? What's Ken got? I've got an energy drink, a whole bunch of prize tags and my Kelpie off my Squid Industries double barrel V3. <laughs> a whole lot of prize tags. <laughs> that, well, because you'll be at work, of course. I'm like, mm, that sounds intriguing. But yeah, you'll be at work, won't you, darling? Of course. Hi, Drew. Hi, Drew. Are you alright? You've been broken into. Got, oh dear, home to find out you've been broken into. I'm so, so sorry to hear that. So, so sorry to hear that, Drew. Dear me, I hope you're right and they didn't tech too much, Drew, because that is absolutely awful. Absolutely awful. I'm really, really sorry. That's, oh, gosh. That puts quite a dampener on it, doesn't it, guys? Because we all love Drew. I know I do. I love hanging around with him, you know, and it comes to Expo and we, we chill out. We um, go walking around together. So I'm really, really sorry. It's a trap. Don't believe Jules. Only joking. Love you, Jules. Oh, right. <laughs> Honestly, TC. I thought something had happened then. <laughs> no, Drew, so, so sorry about that. Really am sorry. So, should we um start? Um, I'll give you all time to say sorry to Drew, to, to sorry to hear about that, because obviously it isn't a nice thing to be broken into, is it? Just a few mechs and TVs and the mod I got signed by Mama. It's the only thing I need back really oh no they even stole that well that'll be obvious if that's tried to be sold hi terry what's that you got the book a blackberry homebrew oh you can't beat it oh dear drew i hope they didn't ransack and make a horrible mess though and i hope you did have insurance because obviously tvs and things you know they're not cheap to replace are they not cheap at all so i really do hope I can't believe somebody stole the mod that we all, yeah, we signed. I signed it. 
you know, Tenacious, he signed it. We've got quite a few of us. Excuse me, I've got the window open, guys. And you all know I suffer with hay fever. So, but with me having the window, I've got to have it open, haven't I, really? Because, there's, you know, it's a bit, it gets a bit vapey in it. So, what's Dusty's loving the Bull Cartier? You've got two of them. Oh, one issues in the Wismet Gen 3 of Dual Classic Wismet. Needing a longer 510 pin on the RT8. Right. Oh, sounds nice. Sounds like good, but you know. Oh, God. Hi, Jay. Hello, darling. Nice to see you. We're all just saying to Drew, I'm sorry we are. He's got home and found out he's been burgled. It's awful, isn't it? Isn't that absolutely horrible? So, anyway, 47 in. Gosh, you're all coming in now. I'll have a sip. Maybe we'll reach 50. We haven't reached 50 for a while, have we? Must be a couple of weeks. So, let's do it then, shall we? Let's do it. Ooh, let's get down and dirty. Right down there in the gutter. We'll get dirty. Oh, look, I'm remembering to drink. I'm remembering to vape. I'm being a very good girl. Oh, I love that ball. The flavour of that is amazing. Right, so, my first one we've got. And obviously, what, what's that? Sorry, Jake. Have you tried the Lemo Cake Pod Salt? No, I haven't, Jake. I've not tried that one yet. Is it nice? Oh, I bet it is. Mm. Oh, don't get me going. Well, don't get me going. Right, so. Yes, Drew, that's the main thing. Everything can be replaced, but it's not the point. The point is some dirty bugger has been in. It's drinking, you forgot. I had a drink as well, Bill. I had a quick sip of my drink as well as vaping. I'm just, you know, trying to keep myself right. So, are we ready? Now, this is about that Matthew Santoro. You all know about it. It's um, been a big thing at the moment. So, obviously, my first thing on things that make you go, hmm, is, so what are your thoughts of the likes of what the Canadian Health have been doing, paying Math the likes of Matthew Santoro, who's a pretty big YouTuber, 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 hmm, youtuber vlogger to diss vaping what are your thoughts on that do you think that's the right thing to do for these people to to get people who are higher in you know they've got a bigger following to diss vaping even though it's factually untrue majority of everything they say is factually or you know it's all it's bullshit it's lies let's let's be honest let's be honest here it's all bloody lies but is it something we should have? Should should they be doing that? Oh, it's going a bit nippy now. My legs got cold. Yeah. Hi, Chris. You all right, Lee? For me, oh, Chrissy boy. He is a sellout. Yes, Gayla. No integrity. Because it, it's just awful what he's done. And it, do you know what's bad about it is? It's the Canadian Health Authority who are behind this, who have got somebody to do this, to tell lies. Yes, Bill, exactly. The data is out today and a total cash grab. It really is. I'm just going to shut this window, guys, because I am cold. He's, what's that? He's a paid shill who didn't do any research. Exactly. Is an, oh, my husband, he's an ill-informed fuck nugget. Only in it for the dosh. Yeah. I should shut that. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I've just gone really cold. Hi, Dave, you all right, this? It's a selfie vapour, if you know one realised when I said, Dave, all we can do is hit back the best way we can. We know the truth about vaping. Exactly, yeah. The guy needs a high five in the face. Ah, with a cheer. Yep. He's a fud. That's a very nice way of putting it, Gailey. Village. Dirty low life pieces of shit, in my opinion. They need sterilising. They're basically condemning some smoker to death to a death sentence. I was waiting to see if someone actually put that in. Didn't think YouTube would allow it to be advertised as it's a paid review. Exactly. 
but I was waiting to see if someone would put it out in about smoking because obviously the dissing vaping, which is making smokers think, hold on a minute, then it's not as healthy as we've t- been told. So I might as well just sell my cigarettes because that's better for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That That's where it's going, isn't it? That's what's happening. What's JP says, it's wrong and I don't agree with it. However, I enjoyed it. Yes, well, I was going to go on to Empire's, Empire's video. Now, come on, guys, if you haven't seen that, you need to watch it. That is so good. So, so good. That's what angers me most of it. This is Irish, by the way, guy. I had an integrity at all. Five minutes on Google would have... Yes, yeah, stopped him, exactly. All it took was five minutes of Googling. It's dead easy to find out the information. Yeah, Jake was sure to send an angry Vic to him. <laughs> but yeah, it's wrong, isn't it? So Kevin says he needs us to stick to views on his, yes, veneers and fucking bum fluff. Yes, because he did have extremely white teeth, didn't he? I mean, I was like, oh, shades, shades. It was really quite bad. So yeah, we're all thinking the, the same thing about that because obviously he's been paid to tell lies. He's reading off a script, obviously, because he had no idea. I mean, come on. He's right, Dongo. He, he didn't have no idea. Hi, Justin, you're out there. So, yeah, we're all saying the same thing. He's selling out. He's telling these lies and this, that and the other. <clears throat> so, I've got a sub-question to that. So, should we, and when I say we, I don't mean me and you, but, you know, uh, the real, you know, the authorities, should we pay for somebody big to promote vaping, vaping, to tell the truth? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's in, in paperwork, we know it's tr- the truth's out there. But should they actually get somebody to actually say it out loud who's got a huge following say, look, hi, sub, this is the truth. Never mind what Matthew Santera says and the Canadian Health Authority and all their pish. You know what I mean? It sh- hi, Rachel, you all right, darling? We should, um, maybe we should have somebody do it. What you, What's your thoughts on that? Maybe we should have somebody big Telling the truth. I mean, don't get me wrong. We've got a lot of reviewers out there and vloggers and, you know, promoters, this, that and the other, all to do with vaping, who are telling the truth. But I'm on about, you know, someone as big, really, really big. I mean, because no one listens to the likes of Rip Trippers. I mean, really, he's like, uh-uh. Um, you know what I mean? But let's let's face it. Do you think that would be got a way to go? Pay to win and the cost of others. The dude is an idiot. He is, Michelle. Oh, don't forget live chat, guys. Don't forget live chat. Oh, we've done it. 51 watching. We've got back to our numbers. But, sorry, Peter, I knew what you meant, Michelle. I knew what you meant. So do you think we, then, as in our governments who believe in the vaping, because they know it's truthful, they know we are 95% better, what UK celebrities vape, sub says? Oh, um, oh, gosh, there is. There is quite a few celebrities who actually vape. We would be better spending money on positive advertising. Well, yeah, but this is advertising, so positive advertising, that's a good way. But do, we need it, don't we? I don't think people will listen if we try that. We need to aim directly at politicians who set the policies. Yep. Yeah. I was saying, I honestly think that vaping needs one face, someone who can go on TV, go to meetings, etc., and present the facts with the numbers behind them. Yep. Yeah. In all honesty, it can't hurt. Well, yeah. Uh, look, he's saying as long as it's backed up with facts. Oh, yeah, it's got to be factual. Well, what a pish. We don't want lies. Like, what's already happening? We want truths. We want the truths there. So it needs to be backed up with facts. Need the celebrities to get the message out there. Enough of them are vapors. Yeah, exactly. There's so many celebrities that are vapors. And from Anton Deck Vapes. Okay, Rog, yeah. The guy was a total. He was a Rachel. He was a complete dong bucket. Absolute, you know, really. Tom Hardy vapes, there you go, really just said. So there's somebody else. So, you know, there is, there's quite a few people out there. There's a singer. Um, Oh, what's her name? There's actually a singer who vapes. Lily Allen. She vapes instead of smoking, so it helps with her voice. Because obviously smoking can't be good for the voice. And she actually said that in an inter- um, on some written thing. Yeah, so Lily Allen actually vapes. It would be good for the film and TV stars to stand up and be countered. They know the truth. Exactly. Exactly. So we're all, you know, there is ways of us get, of the positive news getting out there. So my next question, so why aren't we doing it? 
why aren't our governments doing it? Because obviously they're saying, you know, it's 95% healthier than a cigarette. So why aren't we getting more promoting out there? Like most things, the truth will come out years later. Look at the confusion around health benefits right now. True, Neil. Oh, Samuel Jackson. Does he vape gaily? I didn't know that. Doesn't one of the actresses from Game of Thrones vape? I don't know, Rachel. Mungo Jerry Betty says, all right. See, look. Leonardo DiCaprio. I want to say DiCaprio, but it is it DiCaprio. He does. Johnny Depp vapes. Look, look at it. Look, are these big names? Ruby. Yes, Ruby. Sophie Turner vapes. Yes, Ruby. So, oh, right. Sorry. So she talk, you're talking oh, to Rachel. Yeah, right. Sophie Turner vapes. There you go. There's a Jamaican rapper that vapes. Okay, James. See, look at this. We're getting more and more people coming out who, who do. So Ken's put Leonardo, Tom Hardy, Dave Chappell, Sophie Turner. I mean, look at that. This, we're all talking, there's so many people that actually vape. So why haven't we got more promotion out there? So Tom Hardy would be a great example as an alcoholic who turned his life around and lives a healthier lifestyle. Yeah, Johnny Depp. Oh, I wouldn't mind a bit of him. Bill's saying Lillian, Lillian has put her name behind vaping, but it is in a vaping journals that the general public don't even know exist. Well, okay. But she does. she's another vapor. That was what I was just saying. So, yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger, last name Terminator. <laughs> I will be back. I can give Sophie Turner something to... Oh, oh, Sate, Sate. After show, after show. <laughs> I'm doing, I'm going to do a Nick Bissette. Hashtag after show. <laughs> I don't think Arnie vapes because he's a cigar smoker, isn't he? He says he's a cigar smoker. Hi, Tetley, hello. Victor Mullin, there you go, our very own celebrity. <laughs> but there is so many people who actually do vape. So why aren't we getting more good promotion out there then? Why is it always bad press? We need positive stuff, don't we? You'd think that our health authorities would be wanting to get this out and, and get promoting healthy and getting people off the cigarettes. That would be so much better quick drink I'm remembering look mm. the only thing about stopping and having a drink is then it goes really quiet and I feel like this dead air and I don't like dead air I know it's really difficult there's only one of me excuse me yeah Gail you're right it's because of money at the end of the day it is but if the Canadians can afford to pay some I don't know some twit money to go on and badmouth and tell lies what, what's perhaps some truth for a change yeah it is bad news always does sell village and that's so wrong the world is full of so much negativity wouldn't it be good to have some positive positivity Jules we are talking UK or USA for getting the word out well, do you know what? Why not both? But UK, because we know the USA, their government hates it. But why not the UK? We are more behind it. So, you know, and if we can get it out there, some people might start listening. There is some um, politicians who vape as well, some, and I can't remember which politician it is who vapes. I know of one. I'm sure you still have to pay for prescriptions down in England. That's maybe why Scotland are more for vaping. Could be. But it won't... But no, it can't be because it was um, in England where it came out that it was... It was... Um, where their head office thing is, it came out and that's where they were saying... Agreed, Gail. Yeah, it's the money. But yeah, I think, you know, in the UK... It'd be good if we could get more out, more information out there, wouldn't it? Positive about vaping because I don't know what they think we all are. They're all going, oh, but they get all the kids are vaping now. Are they folk? Are they? I still see more kids around the corner having a cigarette than I do with a vape in the mouth. Do you know what I mean? Wouldn't we be better off doing that, concentrating on getting kids off cigarettes, maybe off the alcohol, maybe off the drugs? Instead of making such a big deal about vaping. 
Yeah, politicians. No one believes a politician. That's true, village. I mean, as soon as the politician's lips move, we know they're lying, don't we, for most part of the day. So, yeah, we want believable people. But this is what we need. Excuse me. I'm belching again some drinking fizz. Money wins over health. Death, death is big business. It is, Justin, and that is such a shame. Such a shame. Yeah, Rachel's saying the same thing. She's seen more teens smoking than vaping. Told Mac, I was in a big conversation with my sister-in-law. The Obviously, you've pressed it before we have finished, so we'll wait till you catch up. Neil, the dual device hails from San Francisco, yet they ban vaping there. Yes, Neil, exactly. And the reason why I've not gone on about the dual thing in San Francisco is, hi, Shane. A lot of other groups have been doing it, so I've decided... I'm not doing it today, obviously, unless we come up with it in the chat, then we will. Jules, the UK Science and Technology Committee have been debating for a few years now. Government here has a positive attitude to vaping. It does, and that's what I'm saying. So why aren't we getting it out there a bit more? But on the other hand, if we have celebs promoting it, they will just say, think of the... Think of the... Ch we'll do a vape. Think of the children! Think of the children! True, Gayla. They would do, wouldn't they? They really would say that. And it's really annoying. It really, really is annoying. So, do you know what? That was really quite interesting. And we've really engaged, haven't we, in that? And we've really had a good talk about it. And we all, you know, for the most part, we're all agreed. We do need to find a way of promoting vaping in a positive way. Obviously, like Gailey says, you've got to look at the flip side too. And that's what this is all about. Oh, sorry, sister said the other day about this. And she is a paramedic. There you go. So him, Tom Mac and his sister have been actually talking about this. And his sister's a paramedic. And do you know what? This is true. We need to get this positivity out there. Would it be good if we can get as many people off cigarettes? Whether they use vaping or they use a different way of getting off cigarettes. But, you know, it's down to helping people, isn't it? And we concentrate on vaping because we're vapors. Bill says, I have been invited to join a panel about further research into vaping. Bill, that's a great thing. I hope you go and do it. Irish, controversial opinion, but I don't care about the kids. <laughs> I'd rather they vape, to be honest, but I just don't care. Va care. Vaping is intended to save lives. In my life is better for vaping. I'm not here to parent other kids. Yes, Irish, because at the end of the day, it's not our job, is it? We, we need to take care of our own kids. You know what I mean? But at the end... It's not kids, is it, really? You know, there's not that many. And I would, like I say, I would rather them vape as well than smoke because I still see more smoking kids than I do vaping. I barely ever see a child, you know, a kid vaping, but I've always seen them with the fags in their mouth, you know what I mean, going to the school or on the lunches and this, that and the other because the, the school is just literally up the road from me. When I was a young, when I was young many years ago, this is JP, by the way, not me, I underage, he underage smoked, drank and smoked resin. 22 years later, kids are still underage smoke, drink and smoke weed. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And we would much rather them get off, you know, that sort of thing. Clamp on them with that, you know, than anything else. It's stupid. So, subspot, it would be interesting to see the financial impact vaping has had on the national health. Do you know it would? It would, because I'm sure it's, you know, it, it's helped. So I can, because he lives in USA, guys. At least the UK is better than the USA when it comes to vaping. Exactly, Karen. And we really do feel for you. Really do. At the end of the day, we feel for you. It's just not good. What's well, Rachel saying? At the end of the day, I would like my kids to not smoke or vape. But if they did decide they wanted to, then I would prefer vaping. Yes, exactly. I'm the same, Rachel. My daughter vapes now. She did smoke. And I'm much happier that she vapes rather than smokes. Michelle's saying, I saw a saw a kid probs about 12 the other day smoking and i was gobsmacked yes hi melinda you're right darling yeah and that's what i mean and yet they're going on about all oh, this teenage epidemic of children vaping it's mainly smoking children are doing still really really guys it's just not good is it you do have to quit yeah we do have it easy we do neil we do have it easy but we can't sit on our laurels about that because if we do we could end up getting bashed as well you know taking one up the arse like they are in america so we've got to keep on it we've got to keep our advocacy going we've got to keep you promoting the positivity of vaping look at me ah, positive vaping that's what we've got to always do because we don't want to go down the route 
or shall I say, because Ken's in the house, route of America. So what's the bill say? Uh, Tomax says, Bill, hook up with me. Oh, right, okay. Fella Pagan, cool. Melinda, I used to nick my dad's Winnie Reds and Blues. I started when I was about 13. So there you go, because we were saying about a 12-year-old, about 13. So I had Dave's and Salford Vapors saying, Jules, if a leaflet dropper to every address point out the benefits of vape compared to smoking, given all the true scientific information in simple terms by the government would help. It would, but do you know, there's a lot of people in there, like like me, they get this crap put through the letterbox and they're like, oh, junk mail, with and recycling. You're going to get a lot of people who probably don't read it. But maybe if they had signs in the doctor's surgery about it, signs in hospitals, you know, things like that, that might help. That might help a way to go forward. Neil, wonder if the rest of the world is looking at the UK to help raise vaping benefits. Well, you never know. My oldest is 13. This is Michelle, by the way, and I'd slap her if I caught her with a fag in her mouth. Exactly, Michelle. Melinda saying, my parents have told me they don't see many people vaping where they are, partly because of where they live and partly because of the bloody stupid laws regarding vaping in Australia. Of course, yeah, because Australia, they've got problems as well. So Irish, exactly, Jules, just because we have it better than our neighbours doesn't mean we should stop tra trying to better our situation. Ex that's it, Irish. We can't sit on our laurels. We've got to keep promoting here. Michelle, at the same time, time though i've educated my kids on vaping and that it's not cool it's to stop me from smoking again and they prefer that i vape now exactly exactly so it's about parents educating their children in the correct way isn't it that's that's what it's about village complacency is the worst thing that can happen to the community we have it easy at the moment but laws can always be changed and big pharma ain't going no anywhere exactly so we don't sit on our laurels we keep fighting now when i say it's parents' responsibility. Don't get me wrong. You can be the best parent in the world and you've told and educated your child, but your child's going to do as they like. They really are. It's like me. If there's a big red button that says do not press, you know I'm going to be like this, touching it, wanting to press it. Because that's what we do. As When we're younger, that's what we do. I still do it. But you know what I'm saying, don't you? So it doesn't matter about the education as well, but just still keep educating your children. But they will find a way if they want to do something. So what's really saying, complacies, oh sorry, I've read that one. Bill, we are starting to see leaflets in doctors in my area. Well, that's a brilliant thing, Bill. Rachel saying, oh, she talked to Michelle. Salford saying, I live in the middle of an estate and I've never seen a kid vape here but loads smoking. Rest my case. Rest my case. It still stands. Apathy is the enemy of progress. It is. It is gaily. Michelle, they understand Rachel. Oh, she's talking to Rachel. So, right, we're all kind of... Well, we're all singing off the same hymn sheet. Different ways about it, but we're all singing off the same hymn sheet of, you know, promoting things and not sitting on our laurels and continuing what we're doing because we don't want to go down the road of America, Australia. I mean, this... It's just it's ridiculous, isn't it? We do, you know, we don't we don't want that. We want to keep promoting it. So I'm going to go on to the next one now. Are you ready for things that make you go? Mm. So my next one is now. This is to do with something that happened in Durham. Hi, Ronnie. So this is something to, that happened in Durham, and it was the Durham Police. Okay. Yeah, I know we're converted gaily, but it's still part of that mm, because at the end of the day. We can continue educating people. You know, we continue educating people, letting them know the positivity of, of vaping over smoking and giving advice and supporting people. So, you know, so we don't we don't sit on our laurels. And if there was a big thing that went off, I'm sure there's a lot of us who would get together and go, hold on a minute. No, we will come. We will fight for this. You know, because we've got a, we, we really are good about it, what we do. So, like I said, the next one is the police in Durham. Durham Police. So, it's to do with an article. Some of you may have read that, the article, because it was on Facebook. If not, here we go. Just a quick bleh. So, what are your thoughts about young youths mixing e-liquids with juice and giving it to their friends to see what the outcome is? They literally have been mixing e-liquid and 
flavoured, you know, juices, dilute juices, but obviously it's not diluted. Cordials, is that what you said? Mixing it in the e-liquid and then giving it to the friends to vape to see what the outcome is. Because this has caused some controversy. This is something apparently that's happened in Durham in England and the police have gone on about it because some people have become quite ill. One person was hospitalised. Now, I don't know how old these youths are because they haven't said children. It's just youths. But what's your thoughts about that? <clears throat> well done, Bill. I'm glad you do. Because that's what... I'm glad you still give them advice. So, yeah, they might switch off, but at least you're still giving them the advice. You're still doing it. <clears throat> it is stupid, Chris. I, my thoughts exactly. Because they don't know. So, so super dangerous and stupid, yep. Yeah. I mean, you're all, I know you're all going to think the same thing. It is stupid. Did any of you read this? What the fuck? They could be bloody. Yeah, it has been dangerous. It has made some people, some some more, some youths ill and hospitalised one. Yes, it is stupid no matter how, how old. But apparently it's youths, young youths. But they've been mixing e-liquid with juice and giving it to their friends to see what the outcome is, what the reaction is. I thought that was kids mixing vape liquor with fizzy drinks to see what happens. Rog, I I I didn't read it as um, fizzy. I read it as some as being like cordial, but I I could be wrong. Neil, that's going to be very crippling. What else will they decide to put in it? Well, exactly. Drew's saying I'm from Durham. There is some inbred from around here. They just educated on it in schools. Well, yeah, there is, and this is it is a worry. That's a worry. <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> that that's happening because if you remember back not so long ago there was a vape company who did it with um vaping coca-cola and now this so it makes you wonder did they see that and think hey don't a minute let's see so villagers put it is the stupidest idea going it'll only yeah lead to the crackdown on the sale of e-liquids it will if somebody gets hold of 72 milligram then it gets dangerous. It does, Bill. It really does. And it makes me wonder if this has come about from, like I said, with that company, cause I'm not going to name com the company, who were vaping Coca-Cola, who said you could vape Coca-Cola as such. I know it was a joke, but is that where it's come from? So Dave's saying not a good thing to do because we don't know what's in the juice. They make tartazine. Lots of people have a problem with that. Exactly. Exactly. It is silly. Again, it's youths. We as adults wonder that. But um, it makes me wonder, have they seen, have they been you know, thinking, oh, Ben Phillips, he does some crazy stuff. Let's try this. Let's try this. Have they watched that? Have they watched, the, like I say, the Coca-Cola one? It's all a worry to me and makes me think, is it some of this negative, these things that have been put on that are negative, is that where they're getting these stupid ideas from? It really does make me wonder. So I know this isn't a, it weren't a big one, but as such, because we're all going to sing the same one. I, I know, I Joy did the, same, the thing. I just weren't naming names, but Bill's done it so I can read it out. I Joy. <laughs> remember, I don't name names. Mm, if I can help it, I try not to. But it makes you wonder, did these youths see that? Did they maybe see Ben Phillips' thing? And think, oh, hold on, this looks fun. Let, let's try it. Yeah, that's you see, that's what I was thinking, Dave. It's got to be what they've seen online, which means it's maybe the Coke thing with Igel, maybe it's the Ben Phillips thing. Melinda, um, you've got no idea what the effects of vaping things other than legitimate e-liquid e juice could have on your body. The bodies of those around you or even your devices. Are, yes, very true. Very, very true. But do you all think this maybe is, like Dave's saying, like I'm saying, that they've got this from online, watching this cer certain things online, and thought, hold on, we'll have a go. Irish, but in in saying that, we only care because it's vaping. I know a guy who was hospitalised because someone thought it'd be funny to mix rose hip into his tobacco. I'd be totally against that as well, Irish, though. That's the thing. That's the thing. And yet, I am interested in it because it's vaping, because that's what we're dealing with. And I'm just thinking whether they're seeing it somewhere else. But I'm totally against any form of stupidity like that. Any form. Any form at all. Just... Ugh, ugh. 
Ken saying, I Joy and the FDA have teamed together and are now promoting vaping Coke Zero instead of regular Coca-Cola due to Coke Zero having zero sugars and zero calories. Just a joke, but it wouldn't surprise me. Okay. Ken, you nearly had me, honest to God. I was like, as I'm reading this, I bet you could see my jaw dropping. Thing, what the fuck? Seriously, it's my favourite word again, isn't it? What the fuck? <laughs> there was that whole Tide Pod thing over in the States as well. There we go. Yeah, we can laugh at it now. I, t I tell you, you nearly had me. Ken, you all know how gullible I am. The youngsters are always mixing up some stupid, dangerous challenges these days, and that could seriously hurt and hurt the vein scene. Yeah, and they've done it before with other things. Didn't they all do something with um, eating peppers or chilies? Weren't there something going around where they were doing something stupid like that? See, I'm a little, I don't know, your kids. Are, but obviously, yeah, because it's vaping, that's why I brought it up about, because it's a vape thing. So, yeah, we know the stupidity, no matter what. But I brought it up because it's a vape thing, thinking, is this all coming from, like I say, the iJoy thing, the Ben Phillips thing? I mean, there could be plenty of other things out there on the interweb, interweb, that we don't know of. That kids get on, young youths and that, you know. I, I'm not computer savvy. I need to watch that, Ken. I need to watch your kelper. Remember the cinnamon on the spoon thing? That oh, Was it that? The cinnamon on the spoon thing? I know, I just know there was something that, there was, that was going around that they were taking. It was bloody ridiculous. And I think that made some people ill. It's really stupid what they do. I mean, seriously, get a grip. And they want to be treated like adults. <laughs> the youngsters have always done stupid challenges, though. Only difference is now social media, yeah. Stupid challenges are for youngsters. It's also been known as a natural selection. Well, yeah, true. But then, you know what, they're like, treat us like adults then. Treat us like adults. I'm being a kid. And yet they do stupid things like that. I mean, seriously, get a grip. We'll treat you like an adult when you start acting like a fucking adult. Education wasted on the young. It is. It really is. <laughs> and we won't treat them like adults until they start acting a bit more, you know, like they've got a bit about them. Um, fucking idiots. Condom challenge. What the fuck? What's that? What, oh, I don't, do you know what? I don't even want to know. I'm so glad I don't understand the interweb. But seriously... It is about, you know, I'm trying to do promote vaping. You're all vapors. You're trying to promote vaping. And then we've got retards, you know, knuckle dragging fucking retards. Fucking it for us. That's not just you, Sam, talking about. That's still, you know, adults. For fuck's sake, that Matthew Santoro. I could just go. Serious there. Seriously, give him, you know, a little bit of a lecture around the back of a shed. Mm hmm. Because it's just a stupidity. I'm not violent, really, guys. What's me? Melinda's buying herself an ultrasonic cleaner. And I'll just set, use tap water because I want to clean my vape gear. But don't want to worry about chemicals or crap with my vape gear. Yeah, that that's it. I use tap water. Don't get me wrong. If I think something's a bit grimy, I use a tiny bit of washing up liquid. Tiniest bit. And then I rinse it all off and then put it through again with just clear water. I love my, I love it. I absolutely love my ultrasonic cleaner. Love it. It's our best friend. Nasty Irish. Kids are fucking stupid. The condom was trying to get a condom in the nose and out of the mouth. Really, Bill? What the fuck? What the fuck? That is ridiculous. Should have hit latex. It should have been spat out. Matthew Santero is, is a sperm that should have been spat out. Or just swallowed, for Christ's sake. Seriously, that one should not have been allowed to get to that egg. And fertilise. No, there should have been no fertilisation there. So, shall we go on to the next one, then? Shall we? Shall we go on to the next one? So, we've all agreed with this. That <laughs> fucking kids. Fucking kids. Right, so number... Th I've got a third one now. Why do some... Now, we're going swapping. I've gone right, left... Whoa! 
That's right. Right, left field here. Why do some, it's only some, reviewers think it's okay to use put down words or phrases just to put down people they don't like? Just to put down people they don't like. Why do you think they do it? Why do you think they do that? Demi back was listening to book getting some oh some merch off teespring set for summer now good for you Demi and it challenges Michelle I know Salford Icons and the Canada thing as they changed their re their stance on vaping not long ago so I don't know why they would pay for a pro and exactly propaganda yeah exactly I'm the same Dave what the fuck what the fuck yeah Timmy bring back a slap up the side of the head. You know what I mean? Give him that. My mum used Seriously. But yeah, so what we're thinking, guys, on the, what I just said about... Go and read it again. Why do some reviewers think it's okay to use put-down words or phrases just to put down people they don't like? Why do you think they do it? No, don't you dare stop, Salford, because... Uh, we're on this. We're on the same thing. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Don't you diss it on your hands, Gailey Bobs. I want you. Don't. There's no names. You don't need to name anything. Just let's let's be candid. Let's get it out there. Let's talk about it because it is things that make you go hmm. And we do it on this form because everyone knows I don't do the drama, Timmy, because they're insecure and need to make themselves feel big. Yep. Ego, you're right, sub. Bullying. Tomac, it is. It is a... It is... Sorry, I'm messing about with chair. It is a bullying. I know exactly the same. Tell us. Type away, Gayla. Neil says, don't know what you mean by that. Put down by using words. Well, yeah, some... A certain person could be in the chat they don't like and they call them names and make up lies. And just use phrases because they don't like them, which is kind of, you know, out of... I'm not using... I do have example, an example, but I'm not going to use it because people would know I'm on about and I don't want that happening. Because they're immature and need to build themselves up by putting others down. Yes, village. Hello, Dwayne. Well, God damn, it's my nephew. Dwayne's in the house. you got to close up, my darling. All right, sweetheart. I'll catch you soon. Long time no see, my boy. Long time no see. Bill, I think some of that is insecurities, though a couple of the vape reviewers are full of them, of something nasty. They should be honest and say it as, yes, yeah, say it is an out-of-the-box review. Yeah, because that could be it as well. It could be about reviews. Betty, because they're not articulate enough to have a discussion. Yeah. Jules, I mean... With the put downs. No, no, just carry on, honest. <laughs> he says, You know, Dave, you know I'm sick. I'm like, uh -huh, uh -huh. I really am. I really am. By the way, Bill, Dwayne ain't going to eat the end of his name. <laughs> Do you know why I'm saying that? Because I kept putting it. Every time I wrote Dwayne, it came up with an E. <laughs> Robo, no comment. <laughs> love you, love you. <laughs> I'll jump on when I get home. Well, if I'm still here, if I'm still here, sweetheart, yeah. Not commenting myself as I ain't really BC myself sometimes. No, but yours is in... Sainty, it's different if you're having it in fun because you're our favourite troll. I mean, when you somebody's being really malicious and really meaning what they're saying to be nasty. I really, you know, that sort of thing. I just think, ugh. I always believe in getting to know people first before judging first hand yep that person could be going through a rough patch in their life and that type of bullying could be harmful it could it totally depends on the circumstances you are talking about it does and there's a lot of different things that it can cover a lot of different things gaily isn't it they're all just jealous because i have the biggest wiener that's why <laughs> ken i love you <laughs> You know how to just write, they make us all laugh, I swear to God. It is kind of a form of bullying. Exactly, Village, there's banter. And we all know the difference between a bit of banter and nastiness, don't we? And, you know, it happens. I've had it happen to me. But, you know, 
And maybe I've done it to people I don't know. And not on purpose, obviously. But I might I might have. I might have put somebody down in inadvertently. I mean, I'm one of these people, if you tell me I've done something, I'd be like, oh my God, I'd be devastated. I'm so sorry if I've done it, in, it not on purpose. But it's easy done, isn't it? It is easy done. But it's knowing the difference on when it's fun, when you're having a laugh with someone, when you're being a troll, a fun troll, like I say to her, or when you're really going out of your way to be nasty. Because at the end of the day, we talk about cyberbullying. We, we think of children, cyberbullying. It happens with adults too, doesn't it? And I know we're stepping away slightly with va from vaping, although it can happen in the vape community as well. It happens in all different communities, and we know that. But it is something we, it needs addressing as well, doesn't it? It needs to be addressed. And remember, guys, when I do things that make you go, hmm, it's not because I've got any grudges or gripes against somebody. It's because, although the other week I did, it, yeah, I did. But majority of the time I don't. It's just that we can talk about it on here, have, a, have fun. No, there's no right or wrong answers here. And we can do it in an adult way, talk about it, unless our saint is in the room. <laughs> But yeah, you know what I mean? Rog, some people just don't care about others' feelings. It's a bit of school grand bullying, yeah? I get jip for being wee, but I do... Yeah, you know when we're having a laugh? Because, I mean, Michelle, I love it because I'm usually always the shortest, and now you're, you're, you're tinier than me, so when me and you get to hang out, it's great, isn't it? Because I feel like a giant for a change. But <laughs> that's it, Melinda. I think it depends on the people involved and the phrases used. Some people might find some terms to be truly offensive, whereas others have no issue. I think it depends on the intent. Yeah, it's about the intent that's behind it, yes. It is. I am super proud to be we though. Yes, Michelle, because you know what? Small things come in better packages. That's me and you. Mitch. So, yeah, what, what's this saying to you? Not got. Oh, you're talking to Karen. So just because there are some people following them, they get bloated egos and they think their views are important. Yes, yes, that can be a, a, a fact as well. We can rent the Hubble telescope there. <laughs> oh, God, Ken. Oh, you just lost my... Right, Irish. Oh, he's talking to Michelle. You can't judge a book by its cover. No, John, you can't. Well, Linda, there's a difference between taking the mickey piss in a banterish way and painting a target on someone and using those same phrases in a pointed malicious manner. Yep, there is. Neil, I've had death threats for simply running my group. Neil, that's out of order. That's wrong. That is wrong. The, you see, there we go. People are nasty. We, 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 it, isn't it weird? Isn't it weird? We go on about cyberbullying with children and yet adults do it. Really bad. So Sulfur said, banter can turn to cyberbullying. Red text is not the same as someone saying it to you with that joking type grin. You can't tell from the text if someone's having a go or joking. Yes, that's true because everyone knows I'm not the most articulate person, right? So I can type something and it can be really, it can be misread. But if you see me like this talking to you and I'd say the same thing, you'd be like, you, you'd know that there's never any negativity, there's never any nastiness or anything behind it. So yeah, it can be misread. Good point, Dave. Tom, big love to you and Stevie. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Big love to you, darling. Nice to see you. So again, there is a difference between being upfront and honest and being offensive. There is a very big difference. Very big. I am an honest person but wouldn't like to intentionally upset anyone. Yeah, there is a big difference about between honesty and being up front and being just a, a, a nasty, na nasty person. There is always a difference. Uh, oh, hello, Gumba. Sometimes a reviewer needs to be called out, though, because of something they are doing or not admitting to doing. Yes, true. That 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 that's true as well. But that that's not just about reviewers. That should be that's anybody who's doing something wrong. But yeah, I totally agree with that as well. Michelle's talking to Irish. Bill's saying there are some nasty pieces of shite out there. There is. Ken, I love the word cunt. See you next Tuesday. But over here in the USA, it's like one of the worst words ever. I've gotten threats from a straight up... <laughs> See you next Tuesday. Yeah, which you would. You would. Because not everybody gets it, do they? Because it could mean a totally different thing. 
totally different thing to other people. Like, the older generation, they wouldn't like that word. They really wouldn't. But sort of our generation and younger, it's, it's kind of a, you know, it's like, yo, yo, yo. It's like with some skin. You know what I mean? It, it's done in a different way. And depends on how it's said. Because if I go, oh, honestly, you daft cunt, is in a nice way. But if I go, you fucking daft cunt, I'm going to have you. That sort of, you know, the body language, the aggression, it's totally different. It means a different thing, again, depending on how it's said. So I am, Bill says, I am careful how I use words to try and avoid them being misread. Yep. Neil, group chat, sub votes, I got rounded up in a chat. I had to fight fire with, oh, God, some people fight fire with water to get out. That is just not good. I'm so sorry, Neil. Melinda, in my experience, a lot of nastiness and bullying is, is because the person doing it feel threatened by their victim in some way or have some sort of insecurities that the victim brings out. Could be, could be. And it was Chris, you know, who, asked, who, who suggested this one. Our lovely empire, I love him. Because it it's a good one to bring in out. Because we was talk, we were all just shooting the shit about something totally, totally f away from this. And he said, well, that you could bring that into your, actually, chat. And I was like, do you know what? I could, could I? Mwah. Could, could I? So what's this? Michelle's put, um, viewers really look up to reviewers. So they should try and be humble. Yes. Yes, I understand that. Gailey saying, having said that, some people just need to be told when their behaviour is upset. Yeah, totally agree. Do you know what? I totally, totally agree with that as well. So we'll move on. Because I've got another one. <laughs> and time's running away with us, right? So I'm going to move on. Moving on after I've had a drink. So no more about that because I don't want upsetting people. I don't want... I, do, I just think it's a good thing to bring out and remember that it happens in all walks of life, not just in the vaping world. So, you know, let's think about what we say to people. It's not so much as, it's other people, but let's think about how it's said or how it's written. Uh, it's easier said than done because I'm the thickest person out and people misunderstand me. There you go, Tomac, exactly. Don't bode well in your family. Bad language. Mm. Now I've had another drink of pop. I'm going to start belching. So here's a new one. And the reason why I brought this in is, obviously, I'm doing these. And these have been fast-forwarded as such. So, should reviewers, promoters, etc. say at the beginning of a vlog that they've been paid to review the product... Now, not to test the product like this, or not to jump, Q jump a product like this, but if they've been paid just to review that product. So I'm not talking about Q jumping here, and I'm not, you know, where they're paid to bring it a week, you know, bring it ahead of people like for a week, do it in a week. I'm not talking about that sort of thing. I'm actually talking about where they're paid to review a product. So, like, if they go in touch with me and said, we will pay you X amount if you just review this. Really, Melinda? Melinda can't say, ooh, ooh. she's not allowed to say the F-U-C gay word. Selfers says, Jules, treat people the way you expect to be treated by others. Exactly. So, we've all moved on. So, we're saying yes always, Rog. Okay, we're all saying yes, up to yet. It's nice to see. It's nice, And I want to know why, though. If they've actually been paid, then yes, they also have to check the little box saying it is a sponsored review. Yes, Ken, they do. See, that's what I wanted. Why? I wanted to also know why you think that. By YouTube's yet yeah, standard law, if you have been paid for a video, they need to say so. They are breaking yet yeah, FCC law if they don't yet. Yeah. And we all know there's a few people out there who don't. Jules, not a paid review, it's a promotion. Yeah, it can be. It can be that as well. Honestly, honesty is the best policy. So I say yes, this is Michelle B. Why not? Unless they are ashamed of the fact. Yeah, village. Yes, because the payment could always create a biased opinion. It could. It could. Timmy, you can be paid an unbiased... You can be paid an unbiased look at food 
critics, but it's a promo. I think they should be honest about this, that. Yeah, because I'm I'm on about like you're paid to just put a something Q jump something. I'm talking about being paid to literally review something. Irish, it's not only the law to disclose if you've been paid for it. It's also just being upfront and transparent with your viewer base. Yes. Bill, paid reviewers should be openly stated, even pushing up the queues just to be visibly honest. Yeah, I mean, everyone knows I've I got these sent to me, and yeah, these are to go up front, these are to be done in a week because they need them sorting so they can move on. I'm not hiding it, none of us are. Vic even said it on his WhatsApp, he his was done for two weeks, so we do, but I, you know, I'm upfront about that. I've, I've never been paid to actually review something, though, which, you know, an actual product. And if I did, I'd hope I'd say, yeah, I'd um, admit it as well. Sorry, paid reviews should be... Oh, yeah, that's Bill's Mobro. Yes, if they have actually been paid to do the review, they should state that they've received money for a review as it will make people aware so viewers will know whether or not to trust the video. Exactly, exactly. Des Turner, hello my darling, it's so nice to see you sweetie. Ken, I'm okay with being paid to Q jump. Yeah, I'm okay with that. But if a company offers to pay me to review their product, then they have to accept my rules and an honest review, even if it's poop. Yes. So maybe they should sign something, but we should still be told. Neil saying, I'm 100% certain that paid for reviews receive elevated scores. Human nature, isn't it? Well, always will be to review his mind. Yeah, I, I can understand that as well. Melinda's saying yes and no. See, I'll be in pay to only try a device and they have no duty to, duty to notify that they are being paid. However, if they are being paid to try and review a device, then yes. My, yeah, I, I'm, by the way, I'm, there's no money involved in me queue jumping, guys. There's no money involved with mine. I'm quite upfront. I, I couldn't give a flying fuck, to be honest with you. Hi, Andy. And you know what? If someone wants to pay me, it'd be like, really? You want to pay me? Really? You, you want to really me? But um, no, I've never been paid. I'm not a big enough reviewer. But we all know I'm going to name him. I'm going to name Rip Trippers here. Going against my own fucking rules. Bad Dobby, bad Dobby, bad Dobby. Right, okay. He gets paid. If anybody don't think that, then... Pff, does he admit it? Does he feck? But we all know it. We all know it, don't we? That's why everything is fucking good, even when it's shit. When it's the... You know, it could be dog poo he's vaping on. It's the best dog poo ever. You know, Get a grip, mate. So, yeah. What do you think, guys? So, now I've named someone. Oh, my God. Bad Dobby, bad Dobby, bad Dobby. Right. How rude of me. Hello, everyone in chat. You did say hello, darling. You did. Well, it's about time. <laughs> Melinda... And that does not matter whether the review is positive or negative. If they've accepted money to publish their opinion on the device, they need to explicitly state that. Yep. Yep. Drink. Drink. Thank you. Thank you, Santa. Mmm. Thank you, Santa. So, yeah, I'm calling you Gumba. Rumour is Rip Tripper standard review. It was... <gasps> oh, I can't even say that amount out loud without passing out. All right, John, you take care, sweetheart. Love you much, Lee. One can also argue, however, that just being sent a device for a, a review could be considered payment by receiving the device due to its monetary value. Yeah, could be. But I'm on about actual ching, 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 money, and it's for the review, not to do, not to cue jump. You're being paid to review smart, say. So. You being paid to review? I don't know. Umi is Rudder. Should we say it? We all know it. <laughs> Rick Trip Rip off is just a shield now. Four years ago, he was still a reviewer, but not since then. Yeah, I know. But does he say it? No. So that's what I'm saying. Do, you know, should reviewers be saying it? Should they be doing that? Should they say? Do you know what? I've been paid to review the hive. R regardless, you know, and I think you worry, don't you? I mean, I worry about rip chippers. I really do. Because everything's fucking brilliant. Everything.
everything he does is brilliant. Oh, is it arrived, Kaylee? Woohoo! <laughs> Mm, vape, vape, vape. Oh, let's go on to the mouth to lung. Bit of mouth to lung in. So, yes. We should, shouldn't we? We should admit it. Why, why hide it? If you hide it, does that make... It seems like then you have really got something to hide. If you're upfront and honest, wouldn't your subscribers respect you more? What do you think of that then? What do you think? Do you think that they'd be respected more if they was honest and said, I've been paid to do this? Saint is using his now. Mm. Enjoy offered to pay me for the review I did of the pod system. I declined. Vaping with Twisted 420 was an open and honest on getting paid for it. Yep. And that's fine. If you're open and honest, nothing wrong with it. And there's nothing wrong if somebody offers to pay you. You've just got to be honest. Because I think your subscribers will trust you still if you're honest. If you start hiding things, then they find out. They're going to think, well, hold on a minute. You're not very trustworthy. That That's my feelings. It totally could be different to everybody else's. Remember, there's no right or wrong here. Because we all have our own opinion. I'm desperate. Oh, you're talking about that now. I don't even... No, no one watches in Ville. Well, I don't, certainly don't. But I just think... I used him as an example because we all know. And we do know there's other reviewers out there who probably do get paid. I know of um, a few others. You know, and the, the only ones I know, though, are American. But, you know, it, it, that doesn't matter. It's because they've got bigger numbers. They really have. Um, but, yeah, yeah. If they came out with the facts up front, then it's not a problem as long as they are still honest with your review. Yeah, exactly. And I think your subscribers would know if you're being honest. They would know. Damn my fat fingers and the ability to die. <laughs> Irish, don't sweat it. Because I see what you're saying about gaily bops. See, everybody can understand what you said. Well, I've got one more question for you, right? One more. Again, this is something that we was talking about. So people who was in the Zoom chat with me earlier, they'll know. Because um, obviously I was in with Chris and that was all shooting the shit and talking and coming up with my questions for tonight, my things that make you go, hmm, oh, what's Neil saying? Paid or not, I think it would be best just to state that at the front of the video. Yeah. I mean, I, I've never been paid any money to vi to do a re review. Never. Never, ever, ever. But I don't mind saying it. I really don't. And if somebody offered to pay, out, to pay me, I think I, I, I'm quite happy to say it as well. Because I, I can't see the point of um, lying. Because it, it's fine tight in the end, isn't it? We all find out. So, my last question for tonight. We've only done five as well, guys. Usually we do about eight. But look, it's already 20 past eight. So, my last question for tonight is... Should reviewers put their names on vape products when they've not even designed it? Should they do it? Should they? And why? Because I'm sure you all know about what, what I'm thinking about here. Unless you haven't watched the same thing as I have. But should they? Should reviewers put their names on a vape product when they've not even designed it? And why? That You'll pay me 2p. Oh, thanks, Sainter. That's like me... Um, let me see, let me think, let me think. Umi here, get in touch with me. They've come up with this, the rudder, and they say, can we stick your name on it? Even, I've had no to do with the design, nothing to do with how it looks or anything. They just want to put my name on. Should we? Stevie pays out of all... The, yeah, he actually, Stevie does pay, Irish. <laughs> Stevie does pay. No, there we go. They shouldn't do it. No, it's basically dishonest. Yeah. I mean, I'm, like I say, there's no right or wrong. And if anybody disagrees with what somebody puts, that's all good. Because we don't argue, we don't fight in this group, do we? Because if you start being naughty, it's like, ta-ta. Because we like to get on. So, should they put the names on it? Mmm, it's a tricky one, isn't it? And I bet some of you know I'm on about. 
Right, Goomba say no, they shouldn't because a name on a vape product makes it look as if they've designed it. If they haven't designed it, their name shouldn't be on the damn thing. Yep, Rog say no again. Dishonest making people think it's your idea and it's not. Exactly. Although I'm going to be coming out of a new pod system, you know, guys. It's going to be called Jules. <laughs> Sorry. It was Chris that put... It was Chris Empire who said that, that I ought to come out of a pod system and call it Jules. Because of the jewel and I'm Jules. Anyway, so... Sorry. <laughs> Sidetracked. <laughs> no, it sounds like they're ghostwriting. Yeah. Reviewers review, manufacturers sell. Yes, Neil. Vape and Ken. I think some people who are overly ambitious would jump at the chance. Yes, they would. And it's wrong. It's wrong if you haven't had it to do with it. You shouldn't. Because you're getting paid for it as well. You'll get money. Why should you have your name on something you didn't do? Very ambitious, Vapors Ken. Yes, exactly. Sub low. <laughs> you see, it was funny, wasn't it? Jules. <laughs> sure, as long as it's like approved by or tested by, not designed by, like if Bogan put his name on the Jackaroo by Vandy Vape and said, tested by Bogan, I'd be fine with it. Yeah, I'd be fine with it. Absolutely fine. <laughs> Neil thinks that's funny. Yeah, Jules. <laughs> Jules, he said it's Jules. It'd be cool, wouldn't it? Sam said he had some input on the Jack Roo, but he did not do the initial design. He would not put his name on it. There you go. That's how it should be. That comes down to the reviewer and what they think is right for their morals and ethics. I personally don't care. Some reviewers are running businesses and may need the income. So you think some reviewers should put the name on stuff even if they haven't done it? That, that again, is fine. If they've had nothing to do with it at all and the company says, look, we've made this, can we... Just, we just want to see your name on it. And you don't even have to see the bloody thing. But um, like I say, everybody has an opinion here. Jules, new pod should be called the sizzle. Well, yeah, it could connect. Sizzle. <laughs> as long as they are up front about it, then meh. Okay, gay. Yeah, exactly. Remember, guys, there's no right or wrong answer. So we're all having... I love this debate. I love the way we do this in such a nice way. Ken, Jules, Mama Vapes, if you release that pod system, release it in the three pack. That way you can sell it as a fam as a family jewels. Oh my God, that is so funny. That would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, that was so funny. Jules, Jewel, Jewel. <laughs> Timmy, no, but I do like his cereal. It's great. Yep. You see, but this is what I'm saying. This, there's no right or wrong answer, is there? There is no difference between that and paying celebrities to promote a brand, e.g. Pepsi. Yeah. Although, their name's not on the box, is it? Or on the tin. I'm not about promoting. Nothing wrong with promoting at all. It's like saying it was it was designed by you even when it weren't. I think it should be stated as an endorsement and not implying a hand in the design. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that at all. Don't have a problem with that at all. Because we do... As reviewers, we, we will endorse things when we've reviewed it and we like it. It's when people think you've actually designed it and you haven't. You've had no input at all. And the first time you see it is when it's sent you in the box and it's all finished. And it's already gone, you know, it's gone for sale. It's a bit weird. A bit weird. But, it, this sh you know, shit can happen, can't it? It's all different things. Well... We're doing all right. Pepsi did by Tom Cruise. Ex but, yeah, it, it, endorsement's different. Like you say with Coke and that, you know, advertising and things like that. It's, if you say, you know, somewhere else, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's just one of them things, isn't it? And like I say, we're all different. We all have different ideas. Personally, me, I don't mind if they wrote endorsed by or whatever. If, but if you've had not even a single iota in the design whether it's to say change the screws you shouldn't say your name on that's my opinion and i respect everybody else's and that guys brings us to the end oh yes look 24 minutes past we've done an hour and a half i do need to come off because i need a proper sit down a proper drink and a proper vape you know it's been great again i really do enjoy our times together I really do. And I love how we all interact and get along. Always to me, again, there's no difference between that and paying celebrities to promote a brand. No, I read that one. Exactly. There is no difference. But there is because they, they're promoting it. But they're not saying they came up with the recipe. 
they designed it. So yeah. Oh, wait on. I'm rereading the same thing over and over again. I'm like, and drink, yes. Mm. So that brings us to the end anyway, guys. So we've had a great time. Thank you for being here. I love you all much, Lee. You take care. Vape, don't smoke. Oh, and it's Tuesday, so you've got to be good. And I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye.